What's up folks? This is going to be one of my first winter episodes that I've done this year and I'm really stoked about it. It is roughly 25 degrees out here. We've got a bluebird day. It's sunny so it doesn't get much better in terms of weather really in the winter time but these fish are definitely schooling up. I just got out here. I actually just ended up rigging up one of my Ozark Pro Series rods here. I'm going to show you what I got going. Um, we're going to do things just a little bit differently. We're not going to be fishing piles. We're going to be looking for those schooling fish. We're going to be planning on actually throwing a float. Now, last time I was out here, the fish were roughly around 12 foot. Today, I don't know. I think they're going to come up. It's been really, really cold. I'm hoping for something around six to eight feet. We're using a Kamel slip float with some beads, a number five split shot and a number four hook. So that's the setup right there. Check it out. And, uh, we're gonna see if we can't get on some winter crappie. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing with the side imaging. So if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor and subscribe to Three Pound Fishing. You can also check me out there on Facebook and Instagram. But today, we're side imaging, live scope. We're gonna do the whole nine yards and uh, we're gonna be catching some winter crappie. Let's do this. Um, right now, what I'm utilizing is uh, side imaging. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Um, and I'm looking for schools of fish. I'm looking for black shadows that represent fish. Now that's a lot of bait fish right there. You know, anytime you see bait fish, it kind of excites me. You can see a little a grouping. That's probably some crappie right there. Um, but we're looking for big schools, big, big, big schools. And it, you will not mistake it when you see it. So there's, you know, occasional fish right there. A lot of fish out here, so we're gonna go a little deeper. We're gonna come out here. Uh, you know, a good strategy really is to go to a point on a lake. Now there's a lot of fish right here. So there's there's a good mark right there. Right here, bunch of fish right there. Looks like they're right on the, the, the fall off of that. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna swing around and look at that again. But that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a lot of marks and hopefully they're, they're sitting still. They're not moving around too much and we can throw a float at it and uh, check them out. Actually go up maybe a little closer with live scope, maybe get within 30 feet of them. That'd be nice. So that's what we're looking for. We're going to go back. So yeah, we've got a ton of fish right here. That's what we want to look for, folks. So right here, that's a ton of fish. Look at that. That's, that's what we're looking for. So and that looks like that was roughly in 16, 15 foot of water. So we're just gonna see what it looks like on live scope. Now look, we come up on some more right here. That might be moving fish. There's some fish there. All those shadows. So I did throw a buoy out, just so you know. You don't have to throw a buoy out. Most people won't. Then winter transition. I call it winter transition. It's just winter crappie fishing. Good. Now I've never done this with live scope. I'm excited. I'm actually contemplating getting a second live scope. By the time you see this, I might already have the second live scope on the boat. Um, I shouldn't say I'm contemplating, I'm actually going to do it. There's a lot of fish right here. Right off to the left. Okay, so we kind of remember that. Keep that. Let's put you up here now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check it out with live scope. See if we see any fish. All right, I'm marking fish at roughly 10 foot down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my slip float. I've got that on spot lock. I'm pointing towards it. All right, folks, I'm a fan of the Kamel floats. They're not too big, they're not too small. They're just the right, perfect size, especially for a number five split shot. Simply put, I use a slip float anytime the depth is greater than seven feet. Anything greater than that is a slip float. Otherwise, I like to use the slit float, which allows me to take it on and off the line consistently or constantly throughout the day. Wow, I think we're in for a good day, folks. This is a good size eater. And we're gonna call it 11. That's a good fish right there. That's a great start to an episode on winter crappie fishing. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at up here at LiveScope because you definitely can pick up the fact that there's a lot of fish right there. We're gonna keep a couple today. You know, you have, if you haven't seen my episode on uh, Active Captain for uh, the Garmin Live Scope, you really need to check it out. I'll put a link up here. It's a, uh, it's just a great program that allows you to, to film everything that you're seeing on this Live Scope, and it goes directly to your photos on your, uh, on your phone, which makes it really nice and convenient. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're seeing right here. 
Well, like everything else, technology doesn't always work. For whatever reason, it's not connecting. Maybe I'll show you some footage regardless. Um, maybe I'll get it back, in other words. But right now, I'm just gonna get, do it old school. I am, I'm just gonna do it old school, because I want you guys to see this. So there you go, folks. Uh, that's this the out. crappie that we saw on side imaging. They're just hanging out in and out from this little, about six foot down. And those are the fish we're gonna be catching for the rest of the day. Just a great image. So that's basket. what it looks like scanning. They're just out there hovering and uh, we're gonna see how many we can catch here today. I think we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good day. That was really quick. Again I'll just throw it out there. Some guys will dead stick a couple out there. It's going down about seven eight feet. Those fish are roughly around nine feet right now. That's a hog. Check out that fish, folks. That's amazing. Now that's a good fish. I'll tell you what, that and you saw that all live. Nothing's changed. Aggressive winner bite. This is what we love to see here. Let's let's check that out. Um, that's a 14-inch fish right there. That's a beautiful fish. So folks, you gotta love these days. I mean, winter fishing can be extremely exciting. Every cast, I think the first, out of the first five casts, I had caught four fish, um, just fish after fish. This is another 14 incher that came in the boat, still using the minnows. But after you catch a bunch on the minnows, you start to wonder, well, I wonder what we could be doing with jigs. And so I threw out the whatchamacallit from Jinko. That's a tickle fry. It was on a 1 16th ounce black head. And immediately I was catching fish and again it was pretty much the same stats it didn't matter whether i had a minnow or a jig it was fish after fish and this is one of those days you just you dream about you go to sleep thinking about and uh fantastic you don't need minnows not today folks <laughs> So the fishing was so good, I called up my buddy Reno. He came out on his boat, didn't have any minnows, so here I am handing over some minnows. And uh, we proceeded to kind of split up and share the, the, the whole entire point. And I'll tell you, he caught most of his fish on a curly tail. I believe it was actually the tickle fry as well. And we just had a ball kind of uh, splitting up and Oh, there's a big one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Pretty smaller guy, but still really pretty aggressive, aggressive fish. Oop. I'll tell you what it is here in a short way. 
It is 11 and a half. Dividing and conquering. There's Reno over there. There's our target. There's my, my little minnow, my, my little bobber float. Let's see what the live scope's showing us right now. See those fish? They're swimming around at the bottom. Down there at six foot. So a lot of people are gonna wonder, why don't you use a casting rod when you're throwing a float or these jigs? I'll tell you what, a 10 footer is the perfect size for everything. If I wanna pitch something out there, maybe just go about 30 feet beyond the boat, I can pitch it with a 10 footer. If you go much shorter than that, it makes it really difficult. So I think a 10 footer, for especially this winter fishing, even spawn, I love the ability to be able to pitch out like this, get it out there about 30, 35 feet. That makes it really difficult if it's not 10 foot or better. So 10, 11 footers, you've got this ability to do that without having to do a, a full on cast. There it is. <laughs> I was like, that has to be going right through that pile of fish. Smaller one, but hey, we'll take it. Winter fishing, folks. Get out and check it out. It's a great time. Jigs or minnows, does not matter. And a day like today where it's like, you know, that's gonna be about 35 degrees is about the high we're gonna have today. Bluebird, not crazy windy, so you can still dress. You know, I've got long underwear, all that stuff on, but regardless, I don't have to put the heavy gear on yet. These fish are definitely moving up. We've got, we went from 12 foot deep so now we're fishing roughly six to eight, and eventually those fish are gonna work all the way up to four foot. They are on fire now. That's a better fish. It's got an issue with its spine. We're not gonna dead stick, folks. We're gonna catch some fish. I'm keeping this in my hand. Great day, winter slabs, let me tell you. That's, that's a good eating size. That's 11, 11 and a half. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's 13. Let's check it out. We're going to measure it real quick. That's a 12 inch fish right there, folks. That's a good looking fish. Solid black. Nice and plump. So obviously we're having an epic day. This is the first day I've been out for winter fishing and the first day that I've used live scope for winter fishing. Let me tell you folks, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now I do have to position the boat a little differently than I have in the past, but if I add that second live scope system, which I think I will, I will attach that one in the back of the boat and that'll allow me to actually throw downwind opposed to having to now throw right into the wind. That'll make it a lot easier. Great, great technology is definitely going to change the game in winter crappie fishing. And uh, this was an epic first day out ah, checking it out. That could be the big fish of the day. Woo! That's a hog. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Gosh dang. That was a 
found a really good group of fish here. Active, consistent. Just throw it out there, you know you're gonna catch a fish. That's winter fishing, I'm telling you. They're aggressive, they're feeding up. Ooh, this guy's got better kick. All right. Hey, thanks for joining today. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to Three Pound Fishing. We're gonna be doing videos like this all winter long. You just gotta love the winter bite, folks. Get out there, enjoy it. Have a great one. Thanks for watching another Three Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies. Thanks again, folks, for watching. Please subscribe and ring that bell, and you'll be notified of all the episodes.